Wait, you didn't come from the grasslands, did you? Yeah, we did. You know, Bill, he helped us cross the swamp and everything. Do what? God damn it. I told that idiot to take his signs down. Swamplands are dangerous even on Choco Pack. I'm Gabe, by the way. Owner of the ranch here. And before you ask, my birds are not for rent. Ain't worth the risk. <sighs> Used to run deliveries, but Shinra put the kibosh on all that. Still trying to keep it going best I can. Well, was trying till my carriage shit the bed. And since I don't have the parts to fix her, both she and my business are as good as dead. Even the chocobos are feeling down about it all. You know, I bet we could help you fix it. Kind of you to offer, but nah. It's just a matter of getting the right parts, isn't it? Says the girl who ain't gotta fix it. But even if you were some kind of secret grease monkey, I wouldn't be able to pay you for your time. I'm flat broke. Curious about my birds? I've tried setting them free, but they just keep coming back. Force of habit. <sighs> well, nothing for it now. It serves me right thinking I could run a business. Should've known it'd all fall apart. Hey, come on now. Don't be so hard on yourself. Please, Cloud. He needs help. If not for him, then at least for the chocobos? Maybe I just want to feel like I did a good deed. But look at him. And his birds. Sweet! I wasn't really asking, but... I gotta warn you. The parts I need are hard to come by. At least around here they sure are. So where can we get them? From this craftsman at the top of the mountain. He'll have them. Can't go on foot, though. Only a certain chocobo can make that climb. Bird by the name of Belle. Last I saw, she was over yonder. And she ain't a big fan of people. Alright, let's roll. <laughs> Sorry for roping you into this, even though he can't pay. Not can't. Won't. Hate to break it to you, but pretty sure that guy's better off than he looks. Wait, seriously? Are you saying I got duped? That he's just using me? <laughs> Afraid so. Huh? That jerk. Whatever. I'm not doing it for him anyway. I'm doing it for the chocobos. Chocobos.
you. We're trying to fix Gabe's cart. Ah, oh, so you're looking for parts. Well, you'll have to come back tomorrow, or the day after. I'm too tired to help you right now. Hmm. Think a swift kick could get him up? Wake up! <sighs> well, you're not serious, are you? <sighs> Scared me half to death. Do you want to get my ass up? Then you bring me exactly what's on that list, got it? Well? I say we get his ass up. Don't hold back. Go on! Got it! You're done.
We do this fast. Special delivery! Hmm. What? Then you read the list? Everything I need's written right there. Oh -ho! Now that's what I'm talking about. Anyway, name's Freddy. So what was it you needed again? Frankly, I'm not doing much of anything, other than thinking about the war, that is. This used to be a shelter, you know? One of the few safe spots during the air raids. A lot of folks lost their lives. Good, decent folks. Can't bring back the dead, but least I can do is sit here and pay them my respects. Gabe and I, we go way back. Comrades in arms. You'd never know it now, but he used to ride front and center in the Chocobo Cavalry. We scoured every inch of these mountains, hunting for Shinra units and attacking them when they least expected it. <laughs> Some close calls, too. Don't know how we survived. We fought tooth and nail for ourselves and the Republic, but wasn't enough. Now I'm just hoping to live out the rest of my days in peace. June on pretty. Didn't think all those buildings demolished themselves, did you? Anyway, I fought in the Republic Army. And let's just say it wasn't pretty. Got our asses handed to us. And what you see now is all that remains. Oh, yeah. You did mention that. This'll just take a sec. Tell me she ain't a beauty. Nobody makes them like I do. And that's no lie. Go on, take it. You ought to make more than that. Gabe's definitely gonna need him at some point. I don't know about that. Besides, I've got things to do. <sighs> like catching some Z's, for one. So if we're all done here... Guess what? Brought you a present from your good friend, Freddy. Is that so? Only if you promise to fix your carriage and take better care of your chocobos. Well, twist my arm, why don't you? All right, little lady. It's a deal. Good. In that case, no time like the present.
it is new. Oh, oh, I gotta say, that old dog really outdid himself this time. Hell of a job. Don't think my character's ever looked even half this good. Appreciate it, kids. I can finally get the business back up and running again. That's great. But before we head out, I just want to ask one more thing. If we hadn't shown up, would you have even tried to give your birds a better life? Maybe. I see. But I get it. Shinra's a big company, and what they say goes. I can't blame you for being too scared to fight back. Hey, I ain't scared of those sons of bitches. Not one bit. Oh? Then why'd you shut down the business? It's like I told you, my carriage broke. And getting the parts to fix it sounded like a real hassle, so... So, there you have it. I just... let it go. How responsible. Okay, fine. I shouldn't have been so quick to throw in the towel. You happy? Starting today, I'm giving this job my all. I'll stock up on parts so I can keep the carriage moving, and make sure my birds never get bored again. <laughs> you hear that? <laughs> then the deal is sealed. You're quite the businesswoman yourself, ain't she? <laughs> <laughs>